probably sitting in a room right back there. I just spoke with him. I'd like to ask you one more time. Does anybody believe that Dr. Paul has been mistreated by the liberal United States <laughs> media? I used to try to defend that. And the other day I was at the zoo with my daughter. We were walking around the zoo and there was this little girl sitting next to the tiger cage. And this tiger grabbed a hold of her and pulled her through the cage. <laughs> And this United States paratrooper went over and hit the tiger in the nose, and he dropped the child and pulled the child out. A reporter for Headline News and CNN ran up to this young man, and he said, that was the bravest, most heroic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. He said, no, I was just doing my duty. Anybody would have done it. It's what Americans do. And the guy said, I want to make that. The CNN reporter said, I want to make that news. I want to tell everybody about it. So can you just tell me, uh, what do you do? He said, well, I'm a United States Army paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne. Yeah! He said, oh, and, uh, and what's your political affiliation? He says, well, I'm a Republican. And if, Well, I'm actually a Libertarian, but if pushed, I'm a Republican. <laughs> and he said, well, I'm going to put this on the news and make sure. So the next day, the headline news title was, The U.S. Paratrooper attacks African immigrant and steals his lunch. <laughs> My name is Rocky Lynn. I played at the Freedom Rally in Philadelphia, Minnesota. I hosted the War Memorial Rally in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a big, big, big Ron Paul fan. <laughs> Thank you for making this the number one record for us. We can go down to Old Bell Paso Or spend the night in New Orleans Or go out to California like we've always dreamed And all out in the desert I can watch the sun set in your eyes Let's go tonight can put your lipstick on while I drive. Oh, enough of this nonsense, baby. Oh, let's take a ride. 